shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. What's up, guys? Let's play Resident Evil. Had to cancel the show because of... My son getting uh, himself extremely sick. And I... Uh, can everybody hear me okay? I think we're gonna be okay. I think. Whoa. Um, I think that we're gonna be. I think that we're gonna be fine. And um, he doesn't get to. He's feeling a lot better today. The swelling in his eyes has gone down significantly, and he has uh, not taken a nap. So that usually that's probably meaning that he's backed up to his to near full strength. But as a result of that, uh, if you haven't already known, then uh, this is my telling you that uh, we had to push EGI 2 Stream 13 to next week um, because that just uh, was probably safer for everybody else involved. Uh, didn't want to get Alan sick. Uh, he's always sick. I didn't want to get Joe's sick, uh, who I have been wanting to become friends with for a long time. So, if you are just joining, if you weren't with us last time, um, I just had uh, acquired the the clippers. Uh, so I'm now I'm going back through the levels and trying to uh, probably should have done a little bit of kind of pre-gaming this. So I just remembered how the you go too much low vibe. Um, oh yeah, the movies are the movies are terrible, uh, including the animated ones. I think, although I do think that the animated ones have their fans. So I would. Let me, rather than saying uh, the movies are bad, I'll just say that the movies ain't for me. Hi, everybody. Um, this is fun. I enjoy doing this. I'm enjoying uh, playing Resident Evil 3 Remake on the stream. Um, I played it a little bit better last night, but um, I kind of lost the map in my head, so uh, these maps just don't do it for me. All right, I gotta get to that subway office. That's what I need. Does Mila Jovanovic play Jill Valentine, or does she play Claire Redfield, or is it? Uh, well, this isn't a new headset, Joe. Uh, this is just um, an old. This is old ear earpiece. And then it's the same microphone as before, but I did. Oh, it's an original character. Oh, Alice. Correct. Sky for Pittsburgh. Huh. Well, um, let's hope that the remake, if, if, if you, you know, the remakes are great. And uh, uh, Sky from Pittsburgh. Uh, Scar from the Pit, the remakes are good, and so if uh, you do get married again, perhaps the simple uh, existence of the remakes um, will uh, make the marriage go better. Mountain Man, is that an Adult Swim microphone? Yes, it is. <laughs> wow, Mountain the Man, uh, really nailing me to the wall here. It is, in fact, the microphone that we used for when we were doing the quarantine version of the show during the uh, early months of COVID. Okay, I think if I go this way, I will be in good shape. Hey. 
glad I'm, I'm uh, if, if you've been uh, watching the show for or watching Alan and me blab about nonsense for for this long I guess we must be doing something right it does feel quite long ago All right, now that guy doesn't look like he's meshing with the background in a way that makes sense. I'm gonna guess that guy's gonna get up soon. This thing, this is how I got to the, oh, right, this is how I got to the thing in the first place. Now I gotta go past these freaking guys down here. So I'm playing at a lower frame rate because one, um, my computer has gotten significantly less reliable when it comes to playing games at higher frame rates, and two, I actually like how these games look at a, at a 30 frames a second, um, but it is also unfortunately making... It is also uh, making my... Oh. Alright, you guys are going to have to bear with me here. I'm not feeling good about this so far. I'm doing something I don't like to do. But I've already done a whole bunch. Um, I'm just... Wait, Vertical Mammal, which games are... are what game are you referring to? Did I say that about this game? These games are at their best when you're not doing anything? Or was I talking... Was that when I was talking about... Sounds like something I would say about... Uh, wait, is this game real? Robbie, do you think Barbacoa is... Barbacoa? Barbacoa sponsorship. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Now, is this going to be one of those things that Resident Evil games do, where if you, like, use the lockpick too many times, it gives you, like, a bad grade at the end of the game? Absolutely agree, uh, Brit66, about the movies not having enough box punching. Apt. See if I can't fix some more locks, use these bolt cutters. I do have to say uh, that although I think the, silent, the first Silent Hill movie is not particularly good, I really do appreciate uh, the fact that they had a sequence where one of the characters just looks at a map a few times and then runs around in a maze while checking the map every once in a while. Come on! Right now, I'm giving my playthrough a 5 out of 10. I do not like how I am playing, but I'm doing... I'm gonna just keep going. I bet these lock pits are gonna break. Am I a Silent Hill head? Uh, I am not as... Uh, am I a Silent Hill head? That's a great question. I I mean, look. Silent Hill 2 is uh, an absolute classic, and I'm very excited that they're doing a remake of that. I definitely think that, that is one of the games that could really do with some... Uh, like a, a kind of a new... I don't know. I don't, Charlie dolls. Oh yeah, I gotta shoot all these Charlie dolls. Um, wow. 
Wow, that looks awesome. We should make a game with this guy. Specifically, just this. Is this like an unlockable skin I can get? Or like Jill has the, Meg the like American Mega Man cover art costume? Kind of afraid the team of the work is going to miss it. Um, Mil, I absolutely agree that uh, definitely worried about just about anything Konami does uh, with uh, IP that was made at a much more, I would say, dynamic period in that in their corporate culture. But I will hold off on my judgment until it comes out. I mean, it's very possible that they're going to do a fine job, I think. And also, it's not like they can really, if they're making a re remake and they're just sticking with the story, you know, as long as they don't try to make it like a, basically make it like a Resident Evil 2 style, or Resident Evil 2, 3, 4 style remake, I think we should be all right. I'm just gonna fuck these, mess these guys up. You know, I end up never using grenades later in Resident Evil games, so. This doesn't feel like I just making space in my inventory for stuff I actually want. Basically, handgun ammo. But uh, I digress. The question about me being a Silent Hill head is that uh, Silent Hill One was definitely a transformative game for me when it came out, and I played it, and I just was so confused how something that felt so evil could be uh, sold to children. Uh, Silent Hill 2 is just a, you know, fabulous story experience. Um, Silent Hill 3 is fine, and Silent Hill 4 The Room is insane. It's a very bizarre game that uh, I think is very hard to understand how it really, I mean, you can watch videos on it. And I think that feller, uh, Matt McMuscles, or I think is that's his name, did a great video on Silent Hill 4. If not him, then somebody who does something like that. But yeah, the Silent Hill 4 trailer, I think, is one of the best game trailers ever made, um, as far as those go. And I actually, when I used to teach a video editing class, I would show that uh, and, and as it as an example of like ways to draw people into storytelling through in, in very short bursts of time I'm honestly surprised they haven't made a Resident Evil Silent Hill crossover I mean I think that's what Evil Within was supposed to be. I think it was a pretty good editing class. I taught a couple of different. I taught a couple of different courses when I was still in Baltimore. I taught uh, video editing. I taught um, like a video art course, um, and I taught. What else did I teach? taught like a really bad 2D animation course and I feel bad that I ever taught it that uh, I really needed the money at the time these arc this these lock picks are going to break at some point right has someone played this before I mean, obviously, it ended up being its own thing, Evil Within, but I think that first, you know, based on its initial promotional materials, I think it was supposed to be like the psychological Resident Evil game that we never got because they kept turning it into action movies. Um, what programs did I use for 2D animation? Uh, it was 2D digital animation, and I ended up, 
I don't remember what the name of the programs were. Um, but I also, you know, I was drawing on from my experience with Premiere, so it was very Adobe heavy and not, you know, I just don't think it was. It wasn't a very good class. I must paint, exactly. Sorry, Scott, that we couldn't do phone calls tonight. At some point, um, once I get some, my new headset, I can probably start to fin f figure out what's going on with uh, why the calls aren't working. But also, even if the calls were working, I think I would have a pretty tough time doing calls and playing games at the same time. Hey, you can do, you can do pretty good um, animation in just regular video editing programs. I mean, it's not, you know, going to be super fluid. You're not going to win any awards for it, at least in terms of technical achievements, but yeah, I, uh, I think that animation needs to be taught by dedicated animators, and I was not a dedicated animator. Okay, what is this? Thanks, Scott. Inventory is full. Great, great. Is there anything I can take right now? Oh, wait. What do I have? I don't even remember getting a first aid spray. We'll dream a little dream of when we come back next Monday with uh, EDI 2 Stream 13, when we'll have the normal. Uh, normal team should be with us, along with our new friend. Oop! That would if that shot. Was the original Resident Evil 3 a big deal for me? No, it was not. Um, it was exciting um, because I really loved Resident Evil 2 as a kid, uh, and it was just more of Resident Evil 2. Um, there was probably... I was definitely also more excited for Resident Evil Code Veronica on the Dreamcast, so... Was that a defeat? Oh! Come on. Secret new f no, it's not a secret. He's 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 a he's a living he's a good comedian. Uh, his name is Joe Rumrell, and he is somebody that I have admired from afar for a long time as a performer. Oh. And I can't wait to uh, hang out with him for a few hours in person and. Hopefully going to make us all laugh and, and feel good about ourselves. Oh. Wow, that really, really um, sucked. I can't do puns otherwise I'd be spamming. I played through once, uh, but I've heard a lot of people say love it recently. I want to get properly into it. Wait, the first Resident Evil 3? Uh-oh. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I will try to do better. I can do better. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, we have VODs on Twitch site, but then one of the things that I uh, had been meaning to work on this weekend, but I wasn't able to because of my son getting so sick, was uh, to start posting VODs and clips to the YouTube channel, um, which uh, will be a fun place for friends when it all comes together. 
But uh, someone, uh, I don't know if the person that's been doing it is in the chat tonight, but there is someone that's been posting the full um, Twitch streams on YouTube on their own, which I, for which I am very grateful because. I sent Carlos to clear rubble from tracks. <laughs> Gives him chance to clear rubble from his brain. <laughs> wow, cool. What a cool guy. Very inconsiderate of him. Very, uh, very, very, uh, very gross weekend, I have to say. A lot of, um, seeping face. A lot of, um, very high emotional. A lot of people meeting their highest emotional ranges inside the house while we were also, um, that's referring to, but uh, while we were also dealing with uh, a lot of rain, so not not being able to leave the house and not really being able to use the yard while everybody is feeling really sick was uh, a very tough time. Uh, not recommended. Try if you have kids, if you have young kids, then. Please try making sure that they get sick when it's still sunny out so you can at least go use the backyard if you have access to one. fine though so I do think that what uh, one of the things that we're going to probably do because of the cancellation this evening was is, is Alan and me are going to try and do another I'm not gonna this isn't hundred percent confirmed yet but might as well just talk about it since um, we are all here together uh, and that is uh, we're gonna try to do outdoor video game reviews with me and Alan um, that was a, a good time good for the constitution uh the old physical constitution not the of course the american constitution although who knows if more people went outside and reviewed video games outside maybe the republic wouldn't be in the trouble that it's been in lately uh the hard part is always finding a place that we haven't been yet Ah. Gonna go ahead and blame the low, low frame rates for that. down as much as possible. Arcadia? Wait. Um, oh, someone was someone is saying something about RE7. That is, uh, I think RE7 is probably ooh, it's up there. It's it's hard to say, uh, mind gets so confused, but RE7 is, um, I think is just a, just fabulous, fabulous a game, fabulous experience of a game. Uh, in terms of, there's few games that I, I mean, I definitely, Code Veronica is a favorite. Does not help me to do this. 
uh, in a way that is therapeutic. If anything, I'm extreme. It's I've only become extremely self-conscious uh, while playing this because I believe I am not playing it as best as I possibly could, and I know that that's not necessarily the point. But it's difficult to feel like I could be doing a better job, and I am not. This looks like something that's supposed to work. Am I wrong about this? I think uh, Resident Evil 5 is a very fun game. Uh, definitely uh, has, it, it's an interesting uh, representative of the epoch but uh, I played it and immediately played it again certainly agree that they're very problem well not sure wait what apart from just the um, ridiculousness of the story what is the problematic about uh, code Veronica I wish they could open doors. Make some of these encounters feel a little bit more. I mean, Resident Evil 5, here's the thing. Resident Evil, the story for Resident Evil 5 is not interesting, I don't think. Um, I think the, the setting is uh, probably the most interesting thing about it, uh, but it's obviously, you know, rubs uh, a number of people incorrectly, which is a perfectly valid thing to feel about it, um, but I think just in terms of moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, uh, I was, I played it like I said, I fin I played it, and I, and I thought about it, and then I immediately started playing it all over again. Uh, why are we talking about Blood Meridian? Yeah, I've, I've read Blood Meridian. I actually just read another book recently by someone who was clearly inspired by Blood Meridian, an author named Hernan Diaz, who wrote a book about a Swedish guy who kind of does a reverse Blood Meridian, whereas the young man in Blood Meridian starts in the east and heads west. Um, the man in this one starts in the west and heads east. It uh, and the the biggest difference in the and I'm trying to remember the name of this book now, but the biggest difference is that the the language is uh, a lot simpler. So if you're, you know, I don't usually go for books because of the language. Um, I would like to be, if I was perhaps a smarter person, I would read books because they do interesting things with language. Um, but I am, I am who I am, and I like clear prose, and that's who I am. Trying to remember the name of the book. His name is Hernan Diaz. H E R N A N D I A Z. And he wrote a book that won a bunch of awards a couple of years ago called Trust, which I also read and really loved, which is why I read um, the Blood Meridian kind of inspired book. Uh, and I felt that. I'm just going to go ahead and save. I'll try to. I'll do a, I'll do a better job later playthrough. Mazzyland, isn't that the opposite of Lovecraft? Uh, no, I think uh, that's a, a but, but a valid point. Um, I, I think Lovecraft uh, is actually quite easy to read. It definitely takes a second to get used to his use of um, descriptors 
would say. Uh, but I think once you get into the flow, it's very, very, very easy to read. I mean, don't forget that Lovecraft was writing for pulp magazines for teenagers. Um, his language is like... Wait, didn't I just get this guy? Dang it. Um, Lovecraft is was a was basically trying to um, rip off the uh, dime store novelists of like the 19th century English uh, ad adventure novelists, and so he adds a lot of flowery adjectives and uh, synonyms in his books, but uh, the actual just syntax is very, very, very simple. I think. Um, if you would like, I mean, if you just, if you go back a few years and you re read something like, um, what am I, oh yeah, I had the shotgun at this point. Yes, you're the guy. Um, I, uh, depends about the mythos thing. I think there's a few people who did the mythos stories, uh, a proper justice. One being Bob Howard, um, that is always the, the, you know, that's probably his, I think it's called the Black Rock or the Black Stone. Um, he's probably got the best Cthulhu mythos story outside of the old man himself. Um, then... After that, probably Clark Ashton Smith. Anybody with regular correspondence to Lovecraft, uh, I think. And then after Clark Ashton, Robert Block has a couple good Cthulhu Mythos stories. But unfortunately, the one that kind of like got the most attention because of it was... Uh, Gosh, now what was his name? I don't think Lovecraft has too many run-on sentences. Oh, I see what you're saying about Victorian writing. I mean, it depends. I'm mostly talking about people like uh, Jules Verne and whoever, who was the guy who wrote The Great God Pan? Um, Arthur Macon. And then there's the American kind of Victorians like Ambrose Bierce and was it Algernon Blackwood? Was it Blackwood? No, Blackwood was Blackwood was English. No, that was Lord Dunsnay. No, Algernon Blackwood, I'm pretty sure, was an American, and Lord Dunsnay was was English. Struggling with a little house of leaves. You know what? Life is short. But I can see there's a lot of people who like House of Leaves in this chat, so I'm going to leave it up to them to tell you what to do. Alright. So, I don't rem... Uh, I think Lovecraft, the in terms of the... Uh, Races the just very surface level, not not even uh, racist subtext. The surface level of racism in Lovecraft is the uh, if you if you hit a wall with that, um, I would say there's probably uh, better better writers that learn from Lovecraft, and you know if it's not if it if if it's not uh, if you're not finding. Uh, I just feel like you should be down by now. I don't think you should be still walking at me. You look like a Junji Ito drawing.
Uh, what was somebody saying? Uh, What are these guys up to? Is there anything even over here? Yes! No! You don't get to get up! No! 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 no. Ah. Did we talk about Stephen King anyway? We have not talked about Stephen King. But let me tell you about something about Stephen King. I re I read all of the Dark Tower comics recently, and I had a fabulous time. Um, I know that's not quite. Wait, what is what is this even? Oh, it's gunpowder. <sighs> what? they finish the story in the comics? No. Mm, when I say I read all of them, I read all of the ones that uh, Peter David either wrote or did the stories for, uh, and once he stopped working on it because it got moved away from Marvel, which is just a very odd thing uh, that Marvel published the first run of those. Um, yeah, once Peter David was out of the picture, I, I kind of, I, I, I lost interest, but I mean, I know that I've read the books, but I just liked seeing the drawings, especially, especially, is there a weird order? Well, maybe now that there's like, there's like two new, uh, Dark Tower books that were made after Dark Towers, uh, whatever the, the last, uh, was it? I guess it was the Dark Tower book seven, book nine or seven. I very much liked the art in... Oh, Divorce Clark. Are you saying it's in a weird order that you're supposed to go through the original start Stephen King novels, or the way that you're supposed to go through the comics? Um... I I like what Puffy Mouth just said about Stephen King books being more sad than scary. Uh, I would say that I think that is uh, I I definitely have some some very scary memories of Stephen King books, but I also uh, I think that that is a very nice way of. Okay, so these guys these guys just aren't 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 really dying. Shining and Pet Cemetery are both very sad. Pet Cemetery is extremely sad, um, and I did not like reading it, and I probably will never read it again now that I'm a parent. But um, I think that what was what was the scary one? One that I read that really freaked me out. Definitely wasn't it. It wasn't that scary. Um, I mean, it's the classic thing. He makes the classic mistake that, uh, you know, Lovecraft kind of always avoided, which is describing your monster. Or at least uh, having your monster described clearly. <laughs> oh yeah. Low vibe seventy five Clive Barker. 
I've, uh, I'm, I'm, with, I'm there with you. I think that the, especially the first couple volumes of Books of Blood have some of the scariest stories in them that I still, that still, like, if I just think about them, I, I kind of, like, freak out a little bit. So I'm kind of at a loss here. I actually never read Cujo. I've never read Cujo. I've never read the original Carrie. And I never read the original Christine. Well, he was also, I know that he was, you know, he was writing um, a lot of those early ones when he was, uh, you know, when he was first uh, become a parent. And he was working, I think, at a laundromat while he was writing them, which is probably where also the cocaine habit came in. It just needed, like, it was just like staying up all night writing weird stories. In, uh, oh, Salem's Lot. Salem's Lot, I think, is, is uh, scary. And I actually think that um, some of his short story collections are, like Night Shift, some of those are, are pretty scary. Um, there's one, I think, called... It's either called Grey Matter or... The novel It After Defeat Him. Yes. Yes. Uh, we, the, the, uh, the problematic, um, what is it called? The Ritual of the Child. Wait, raise your head, baby. Full Dark, No, Full Dark, No Stars. Which one is Full Dark, No Stars? The DOD has determined that the volume of fire is the primary determinant in a fire fire. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. I'm laughing. There is something about the lobstrosities in Dark Tower that is very unnerving. I mean, look, um, I think with this, in regards to the amount of writing or amount of, I, I the, the length of Stephen King books, I say um, I read through Stephen King books a lot faster than I read through um, books that are significantly shorter, and I have a much more enjoyable time doing it. George Saunders. A lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna have to go down the bloody subway again. Alright, I guess I am gonna have to start using my map. Jobotnik with the, that's that's plenty of video game news. EGI two watcher, uh, I'm I'm enjoying the the Stephen King commentary. I think it was uh, I can't remember who it was. I want to say it was Umberto Echo um, wrote an essay for somebody. I want to say it was like Harper's. And it was basically comparing. Um, It was comparing the writing of Stephen King to the writing of Cormac McCarthy, specifically in All the Pretty Horses, and he made an argument that Stephen King was a better writer because he just understands how to use the English language properly. And I thought that was a very funny and, uh, dare I say, catty thing to do. <laughs> Giovanni H.
Wait, how many besides F13? How what other Stephen King licensed games are there? What's this one? Control room, simple lock. Dark half, I don't. Is I, is the dark half? Um, oh, very little Harlan Ellison. Do you have an H? I read uh, a Harlan Harlan Ellison book, or sorry, short story that was in a a weird uh, Lovecraft collection called what was it called? Something the Starry Wisdom. And it, it that one was uh, one of those Lovecraft collections that uh, got me into a lot of authors that I kind of ignored because I didn't like people who read them, like William Burroughs and J.G. Ballard. But if you ever look at the story, if you ever check out the Starry Wisdom, it has, it's basically a collection of short stories, uh, some of which are very much um, like Cthulhu mythos style stories, and then others are just what the editors believe to be a Lovecraft inspired story. Yeah, I mean, I think it was a burn on all like language-based novelists. Going to the substation, that's where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, who we, did we get raided? We got raided, who, who's, ra who's raiding us? Hey everybody. Resident Evil 3 Remake. Also, we're talking about, uh, ooh, we're talking about Lovecraft and Clive Barker and uh, William Burroughs. Maybe we'll talk later about Marilyn Robinson. Who's Nicole Tompkins? Thank you so much, Nicole. Why are people saying William H. Macy all of a sudden? Oh. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wait. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, well, you do a great job. Uh, especially with a questionable script. Oh, sorry, my camera is a little... So this is the substation, right? Oh, it's not the substation. Oh. Master of unlocking. Is Nicole still, is Nicole here with us? Does Nicole want to answer questions about how she got into character? That was a meta raid. What does that mean? What does any what do any of these words mean? Oh, fire alarm just went off, and it's it's done. Well, if Nicole was here. I would say that uh, I think just does a great job with the voice acting. Don't love all the new cursing in the game. I don't know how much she had to do with that, but it seems a bit much.
Great. This is not the Game Pass version. Uh, I am playing it. I, I, I purchased this on Steam because I don't know. Oh, yeah. Enormous box. Enormous box. It would be nice if you had this one. Enormous box. Type great. It would be nice if you had this one. Enormous box. Look at her. She's looking at the enormous box. Type great. Well, you know, sometimes you gotta, you just gotta eat. And if they make you say the brown word a few times, you know, what, what did they say? What did, did someone say recently? Eventually, the sun's gonna run out of hydrogen, so don't worry about it. I stole that from something I watched on TV recently. I did not make that up. So don't quote me on Oh, it was John. Yes, it was John Stewart. Thank you. Okay, now I hope that you are the substation. All right. Finally. Newborn. Where are we at with motion capture these days, anyway? Are we, are we, are we still at the point where you have to wear the dots? that whole Unreal Engine uh, mocap thing with uh, Hellblade. Yes, Big Plague. I was just thinking about how Crispin Lover had a very weird uh, midlife career. Um... He had a music video called Clowny Clown Clown, which I really highly recommend people watch if they are at all interested in Crispin Glover and what he does. I will not do a satirical video about the mocap dots. I'm afraid that... Uh, whoa, whoa! Uh-oh. That ship is sailed about the mocap dots. Well, that's. What? Wait a minute. What is this? D2? Like that. Okay, I guess we are. don't do satire in EGI 2, I want to say that. Not that it, satire doesn't have its place, but uh, we try to, 
even if we if even if we poke at something, uh, if we poke fun at something, I like to make sure it comes straight from the heart. Okay, what in the name of goodness gracious am I supposed to be doing here? I feel like you could figure out a solid mocap funny video game uh, news joke. I could probably. Here we go. Wow. Nicole Powers, was that her name? Oop. Come on. Right there with you, Jill. Wait, what had happened? What had happened? What happened here? What's happening? Was I supposed to? What am I supposed to be doing? Goodness gracious. Ah. Check the frame on here. On me, a second here. Wow. That widow speak is really, uh. So am I supposed to be uh Am I supposed to be healing? Should I be healing also? Oh. Right ah. Thanks for gifting the subs vertical mammal. For having the shows back. Well, jeez. Come on. Where are you at? See, these are the Resident Evil 2. These are the Resident Evil uh, enemies that I just don't. That they just don't do nothing for me. I gotta say. And they're just like a pile of textures. Just like it doesn't, it's not scary anymore. You know. It's like, what's your, uh. These are, they're, these are just annoying. They're not, they're not scary. I mean, everything scared me in the first, the very first Resident Evil game, like the like the PlayStation original. But that was because I had never seen anything like it. Uh, now that we've all been playing horror games for as long as this, you know what? Actually, I think the scariest Resident Evil games are the weird uh, worm people. In uh, near the in the last uh, chapters of uh, Resident Evil 4, they're just like uh, there's something you, when you get to the lab. There's supposed to be more of these. There's one. Because it looked, you know, because they were, they made, they made a very strange noise uh, that was incredibly intense. I gotta finish the book I'm reading right now before I move on. 
to, I finally uh, made it to the library uh, this weekend and was able to pick up my uh, copy of House of Last Resort by Chris Golden. I'm very excited to read that, uh, but currently I am finishing up a history of the Vietnam War, or at least, oh, part of it. Oh, a hype train started. Oh, boy. I'm going to try to sing a song. How about that? I'll try to sing a song about Resident Evil 3. Boop, boop, do, 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 do. Resident Evil 3. Res do, 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 do. It's Resident Evil 3. The bugs are on the ceiling. Yeah, it's Resident Evil 3. We're shooting stuff. Can't throw a grenade. It's Resident Evil 3. Why is there a reason I can't throw this? Why can't I do it? Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 3. We're running around in textured, oops, uh, in, these, in these weird tunnels, it's Resident Evil 3. I didn't like that. Okay. Would you like to? No! What? A s I died twice! Alright. Salting. I wish Nicole was here so I could ask her how. what. if she could. uh. What, what she channeled when she made her throw up noise. <sighs> oh boy. Okay, now I'm, now I'm, now I'm actually playing the game for real. Because that, now I'm just uh, very mad at myself. <sighs> Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil Ow! Come on! We just went through this. Am I going to really? Yes, I am. When you're going through the tunnel, when, wait, let me see. What am I saying? When you're going through the tunnel, do 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 and the bugs are coming to you do do do, do. and you're throwing up on the floor do do do, do. yeah you're Jill Valentine and you're doing it you're gonna make it out okay cuz I played the later games so I know that you're gonna be fine and it's up to me to make sure you get there Damn. That ceiling guy messed me up. I felt like I was really onto something. Ah! I don't. Alright, let's take a good look at this thing. Oh, see. They didn't even want that. Oh, God! So this happens. That should not be able to happen multiple times in a sequence. That just does not seem. Does not seem po uh, proper. Hey, it's Moop. Nice to see you, Moop. Long time no see. I did uh, playing Resident Evil 3 badly. I, I sang two very short Resident Evil 3 songs. I'll see if I can make up another one um, while we still have the hype train up, since I feel like I owe something. Um, to the tune, to the tune of ba ba da 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 I'm not doing well because I keep getting these guys. These guys keep putting stuff in 
to my mouth and I gotta get out I gotta get out of this town I gotta stop messing around cause these guys these nasty guys I gotta get out of this town problem with these bugs is that I think the problem with these bugs is that they ain't letting me cook. So the T what it what in the name of God is the T virus? That's what I wanna know. Alright, it's just is this gonna No, it doesn't really make a difference. Ooh. Is that what this is? Is that what this is? No! Thank you. Thank you for, and thank you for the hype train, everybody. I hope that my songs stirred something inside of you, and that, uh, in your final moments later in life, um, as you lie with the, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't even get a chance to turn around. Alright, I'm not, I'm not starting this thing up again. I'm, I've got it live with my actions at some point. That sucks. Now I gotta go all the way to where that... Oh. And I don't even... There's so many. This is not even hard mode. Wait, is Joe Botnik's real name not Joe? Oh my god. See, this is where I feel a little punished for running the game at a lower frame rate. I really don't feel like... Oh god. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so what was it? Thank you for the level th two hype train. Um, see if I can think of a, something to say about uh, so, something else. To say. I'll sing. I'll try to sing something else. Um, okay. Hey, it's these. Hey. Hey. Okay. It's these bugs, let me l wait, no, hey, hey, okay, it's these bugs, they make my day much harder, much harder, much harder to flip the switches, make my day, make my day, if you would just stop, make my day, so I could get along. And sing a little song if you would just leave that make my day. I know that I've got to get out of here and I got to flip these switches right here. But these freaking little guys are making it hard, but we gotta get out of here. Yes, we have to play this game too. Oh! And you're not gonna put your thing in me again Cause I don't wanna see that animation play out again It's not very fun to be a Little old someone like me Oh, cause you got these freaking little things that I do And I got slow motion randomly So that wasn't too bad I oh, hear I I feel you. I know you're there. Alright, I'm gonna get away from where you guys are I'm gonna get away from your gross ceiling. How about that? Oh you found me. Oh 
Am I crazy? This just feels like a bit much. And now... I can't tell the story because I uh, um, have not quite mastered the art of playing Resident Evil 3 Remake and checking in on the chat and telling a story at the same time. And I feel like this section of the game right now is just really, really bringing up a lot of emotions for me. And I can't even dodge when I'm this sick. And that's just the worst. And I know that I'm going to die before I get to this ladder. I'm not going to pause the game. I can't pause the game because that's going to mess up the hours in the spreadsheet, Alan. There's a lot of things happening all at once. And if you aren't going to stand, if you're not going to support me, then you got to step aside. I did try to, I've, I've sang like five songs. If I pause the game while I, uh, oh. Wow, Ellen Resnick got gifted a sub. All right, Jewel Valentine. Jill Valentine. Valentine? Jill Valentine? Will you be my Valentine? Does that sound, does that sound right? Alright. No more. I guess I can start shotgunning these things. Everybody sing a song. And if you don't know the song, so if, uh, uh, wait, everybody sing the song. If you know the song, sing along. This song is a story of a little town that got run over by a company called... Um, oh, nope. Song is a song about a funny little town named after a funny little animal. I really really don't like this section of the game, y'all. I'm not good at it. Um, it seems unnecessarily hard. And I don't remember this in the uh, original Resident Evil game. Uh, if it was in the original Resident Evil game and it was this hard, then... Uh, oh, see? It, they didn't even let me get, 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 turn around in time. Do I have a quick turnaround? Doesn't matter. That's some baloney, y'all. That is some significant, significant levels of baloney. Why would they rate me? Am I the only person playing Resident Evil 3 Remake on Twitch right now? I know I'm the only... If I hear this, that sound of the animals on the ceiling, I guess I'll just have to dodge more. Oh, that's where this bloody... See? And they're gonna be right here in a second. Like five of them coming from all different directions. So. Nothing. Can't close that. Can't close the spawn hole. That would be too simple. This game is... <sighs> it's like if you're going to be stuck in a part of the game, like, I wish it was just going to be... I wish I was stuck in a part of the game that I liked to look at, but this is a part of the game that I do not like the look of. This just feels very... I don't know. I think the... 
Doom 3 is probably the game that did this kind of like gross texturing the best. I think that uh, part of it is that, you know, it looks like every time they would have a little moment uh, where they would, the texturing would be really crazy, just felt like they put a lot of thought and care into the placement of various uh, polyps and tubes. Meat slime. And uh, this does not feel like it has the same level of thoughtfulness. I've said it. I can never take it back. It's uh, low vibe 75. This part is so long because I'm not doing a very good job playing it. I'm sure that if I was a better Resident Evil 3 player, then I would have gotten through this already. But, uh, alas. They're so close. I know this is going to suck. Just giving you guys an opportunity to run up on me and Damn your weird thing down my throat. Good gracious. Yeah, exactly. Ah. <laughs> this just doesn't seem... Just, come on. We already all experienced, like, we went through this uh, period of media with the tentacles already. shadow looks. I don't like that at all. To be fair, if I was playing this at a higher frame rate, I think I would be having a bit of an easier time, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm... It's just cloud bursting. Oh! Noise! Gee whiz! Come on, guys! How many? Uh, how do? How many do we need, really? Oh, do not, do not, do not do it. Oh, do not. Do not do it. I was supposed to like find another door and oh, was I supposed to find another door in there? God I hope not. Okay, I think I think that we've got that. Oh nope, bubble world. That leaves at the main power switch. Again? Wish Nicole had stuck around. Would have loved to ask her some questions about how she got into the character. Oh, 
that meaningless uh, pile of polygons and textures has been cleared, finally. No, there was no better way to do that. I am finally making some progress, yes. <sighs> you know, they should make a Resident Evil game where something nice happens. You know? Like you, uh, like the people get on top of it before it gets out of hand. I think the people would really like a game like that. Oh, wrong one. What did that guy have? Does that guy have got, is that gun? What is that? Is that pistol? Is that ammo? Yeah, like a wedding, like uh, like a bunch of people get stuck in the the courthouse during a T virus outbreak, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, one of the stars people shows up, and like, you know, maybe the the priest gets gets it or the justice of the peace, and then uh, you know they have to you know, get rid of that guy. But then after that, it's Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Um, they basically are able to quickly contain the virus, and everybody gets married, and Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine uh, officiates. Sounds good to me. Not your partner. Bring trains online in the subway office. Now that is something I would enjoy. Would people? Do people like wa watching a? A train game stream? Like one of those uh, train simulators? I've got a few of those that I haven't played in a while. Wow. Oh. Hey, I dodged that. No. You guys... You guys saw that. That was some nonsense. Uh. Whoa! And I dodged that too. Dodging all over the place, and these jackalopes. You always forget about the about Nemesis. Well, I know he can't get in here because that has been established as a thing that happens in Resident Evil games. Oh shit! Shouldn't have wasted that green herb like that. Here's the thing about those train simulators. Uh, there's not a lot to react to. But maybe that's a good thing. And I also would... You know, the guys... The, the, the folks that play... Train simulators... I wouldn't want to accidentally do anything to upset them. Because that's a passionate crowd. Have I played many Metro? Yeah, I played many Metro. I thought I was alright. I mean, it's not quite what I'm looking for. I'll tell you what game I am excited about playing, uh, and I will get it eventually, is Void Train. Oh! Void Train uh, is kind of like uh, Bioshock was in an inter was set on an interdimensional train. All right. See, I dodged him. What's the dodging rule here, buddy? I'm just.
just gonna let this guy get me. And now, I would like you to stop asking me if I want to play the assisted mode. Because you couldn't figure out how to do your impact boxes properly. Alan, it's a scary game. It's a gross game. It's the kind of game uh, you don't want to play alone. And that's why it's so nice to be able to play it here live on EGI2 with uh, all the folks that have shown up here tonight. I don't know why I did that. I wasn't really actually planning on killing him. What? Well, that one I got. Okay. If you're going to put a dodge button here, it just feels, just feels a little, little cruel to uh, have it be so such a narrow uh, window of when it is actually going to work. And now, and now I have to, now I have to do you, and now you're gonna get me, and now everyone's having fun at my expense. Every, all the, all the monsters get to beat up an old Floorville Jill Valentine. I see people get very, Alan, I would never kill a human being, I would never, um, um, I would never lash out in anger in such a way, and I would never, um, you know, I think uh, I'd like to go. To, I'd like to go to the the final. I'd like to go to final bedtime with all my scruples intact. All right. So it's like, do I get? Trying to, how does this? So this is a dodge that. If you do it a certain way, you dodge a little bit farther. That I can't quite figure out why. Uh, would you judge? Oh, thanks a lot, EGI two watcher. As if I had something to do with it. Would you... I would never beat someone close to death. Um, I ganged up on a guy once in a mosh pit. And uh, I always felt bad about that. I mean, he was being a bad actor, but... You know. See, if you're... Uh, don't come back yet. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. We're gonna make it. We're gonna, we're gonna make it across the street here. Alright. At least that seemed... That seemed okay. Ooh. Enormous... Enormous man. Oh, enormous enemies. Uh. Oh, you're not my friend. Oh! Oh, kind peace. Ah! We did it. And now, I'm in a safe room. I can. I know you can't come to. Oh, you can't come in here. Clipping. You got business. I did not like that. How many, I don't know, what am I looking at? Oh, great. I've used pretty much all of my pistol ammo. Uh, and what am I missing here? Oh, fancy box. Let's get the fancy box. See what's going on. Got to get that gem out of that fancy box. Got you. And now we have fun. And now we got all the things. And now I got another pouch, baby. Huh, oh, I think Thank the man, Jesus. 
I've never played this game, so I've only seen MS Um, that is a very funny thing, Boop. And I'm laughing with you at the funny at this. So NRL12. Hmm. One and two. The New York subway would be the one and the two are the red line. I think it's funny that uh, so much of that those interactions are so structured around kind of preset animation. Um, I don't know what you would call that, but it's a. Uh, but the fact when he was like trying to get into the safe room, then. Sam Hance. Sam Hance. Sophia, confide in me. Wow. Great. Great work, everybody. It's a shame how short this game is. Uh, I feel like this game is probably the correct length. <laughs> Uh, I will probably... I'm going to consider... Um... Jill, thank you. I know you will not let these people down. I won't let you down. Okay. Sam hats to you. Uh, where am I supposed to? Wait, what is Alan saying? Robbie, please consider something. I missed it. I was too busy worrying about Sam Hance. What is the name of this store? Lobster. Oh, Jim's Crabs. Wait, someone was talking about Jim's Crabs earlier. Who was that? Skull Stalker. Sorry, I said that really loud. Just got very excited. Uh, these posters are just excellent. This one, mm. Mm. science forum. Think about the 21st century. Gems crabs. I could stay there all night. That door doesn't open. It doesn't even give me a, a option. Where do I go then, boyo? Oh. In the subway office. I thought I was in the subway office. Living corpses. So, Alan, uh, you want to. Any chance these co-op? Uh, any uh, perhaps uh, we could do a co-op co-op game stream. I wanted want to. I'd want to make it something special. You know, I'm not sure exactly what we could do. It's okay, Crabmaster Zach. I might. I'm there with you sometimes. Is this not the subway office? No, this is of course not. This is. Oh, right. Dang it. I gotta go back out there again. Uh, crap. Yeah. 
Oh. I guess got. This guy's freaking Sam Hansen not all over the place. Whoa! So the way to dodge properly apparently is just tap the dodge button as many times as you possibly can in quick succession and just hope that it lines up with the uh, predetermined, uh, you know, rhythm game that they aren't telling you how to play. Okay, 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 okay. here we go. You're gonna be okay, Jill. I'm gonna get you through this. I messed up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Sorry, guys. This sucks. I don't think Alan has a gamer score. I don't think Alan's ever owned an Xbox. Okay. All right, let's just think about this. What am I? What have I done? All this. Got that? I got my extra. I got my extra pouch. I go back into the world. I just gotta. Nemesis, stop! Stop being this way. No! But you, no! Double jerks. Uh. Oh. Nemesis! I don't want you to do this to me anymore. No! No! Oh. No! Be nice! This will teach him. Alright. Where's that? There it is. Oh, God. Okay, back again. It's easy to get distracted. Easy to forget where you are. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a room. Okay, give me a sec. All right, where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Can you program that in? Hey, I'm Super Cop. Consider it done. Automated train. Okay. Redstone Street to... Faust? Faust Street to Raccoon Central? No. Faust Street. Guess that's RA. Raccoon Station to Fox. Unable to establish route. Please try again. Huh. Redstone Street to Faust Avenue. Faust Avenue to Raccoon Central Station. I guess, okay. Raccoon Central Station to St. Michael's Clock Tower. I guess that's SA. No. Yeah, that's probably SA. Am I supposed to? Is there another thing? Oh. Okay. To FA2. Raccoon. Two. To Saint. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, 
that's SAO2. Okay. Well, it's clever. That's Valid route confirmed. Carlos, it's me. I finished inputting the subway ride. Enjoy your subway ride, Carlos. go back to the subway station. Let's take a look at these textures. Now that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. All these look realistic. I would eat them. I like this. I wish they made laptops that look like this again. What else do I like? I like... I don't like that. I like these. These are some of the things that I like. Drink water. I haven't had good donuts since I moved away from the East Coast. Where do you live that does not have good donuts? I feel like good donuts are at least mostly available in most places. Oh, Buster. Oh, this kind this kind of a thing. Oh, goody. Hmm. I don't know about that. I mean, they should just do this to Resident Evil 1. Am I wrong? Am I heartless to say that? Does the Resident Evil 1 GameCube re remake deserve that? I don't know why I came back here. That was a bad choice. Uh, now I've got to just... Okay. The Resident Evil 1 GameCube remake is extremely good. What the hell is it doing to them? He's just making everything just more difficult for everyone. Yes. I'm not doing this with you. I'm not doing this with you! Subway, run into the subway. Gonna meet my friend, the funny Russian guy. He's living in the subway. Hey, flee! I'm gonna run to him. And that is how the chapter ends, folks. Well, I didn't... You notice that I... Well, I guess I kind of did... Say that. Uh, okay. 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 We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. We're having a good time. Wolf of the Battlefield. Didn't look at these. No spares in this game. Sudden death bowling. Um... Uh, See better. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Uh oh. Nikolai. Oh. The town's crawling. We don't. We don't like Nikolai people. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for it. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. I knew a Russian guy that kind of looked like She'll that. You killed. He was a great dancer. Sorry. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Here, boy. I th I'm pretty sure Carlos makes it to the credits. 
That's Mimi's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. If we jump. No. Damn it. This is the. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. Ah, ah. That'll. That'll tell him, Jill. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. Dissel. He'll never figure this out. This might work. Whoa. Relinqu he relinquished an item? What does that mean? Hi, dreams lately. How are you? Are you saying, or are you saying hi to Nemesis? No. Oh, thank God we're in the sewer. Didn't feel like we were getting another subsurface scattering. Marco! Nice to see you, Marco. Carlos, do you copy? Carlos! Oh, shit. Oh, I need to find another way out. I'm gonna get such a bad review. I'm gonna get such a bad... They're gonna make... They're gonna say that I did a bad I'm job. The they're area. gonna give me a low... Perfect. They're gonna give me a low score. Because I saved too much that I have to, I'm sorry. Alright, now I get to look at this. <sighs> Seems like a big box for that. Has anyone played the Resident Evil 4 remake? Do you still save on typewriters in the Resident Evil 4 remake? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what was that? I don't think I would have as much fun playing the Resident Evil 4 remake on this stream. Uh, Resident Evil 4, well, okay, I would have more, f I would have fun with the first couple of hours of Resident Evil 4, but it gets, it gets so puzzly. Door won't budge. Looks like it needs a power source. This is pretty action-y. I don't feel like I'm, I've, it's mostly just remembering I'm definitely burning these clothes. I should play the Resident Evil with the big woman. I have the Resident Evil with the big woman. Is the, uh, have people played um, the Resident Evil big woman game? Uh, and is it as puzzle heavy as RE4? RE4 has some pretty significant, I guess I'm just mostly thinking of the castle in RE4. But everything I guess I'm, that kind of bookends that is pretty straightforward, actually. Foot in mouth. Are you, that's the one we're talking about, the big woman one. I mean, that's that's what makes a Resident Evil game. All right, Alan, after I play Resident Evil 3, I gotta play Skyrim a little bit, and then I'll play Resident Evil 8. Whoa! I hate that.
was that? And will it last? Let's look at this. You know, definitely prefer it to those bugs. All right, this grenade launcher is coming. Another save room? Yep. I was right about that. Okay, let's do some inventory management here. Uh, combine with another explosive. Um, does anyone ever actually use the acid rounds? Sorry for the sniff. Okay, puzzle stuff here. Oh no! I am so sorry that your kitchen was flooded. I almost flooded mine last night. Not really flooded, but... I just don't think I've ever actually, I mean, I've used ones that I've found, but I've never actually crafted them. I mean, I just always stick with frame r flame rounds. I guess I'm gonna save again. I want to fight that creature again. Of course, Joe, of course. I mean, not it, it doesn't really melt them in a real way. It makes a melting effect happen, and it does damage to them. But it just doesn't... And I'm sure it does the same amount of damage as, like, a flame round does, but it just does not feel like it does anything. It just doesn't... It's just not satisfying. It's not satisfying at all. Resident Evil game where Jill, bon Jill Valentine stays in a bunker and writes a book. I'd play it. Uh, I'm looking for batteries. I'm looking for more flame rounds. Just living a great life. Enjoying myself. lately. You're cracking me up. EGI2 watcher with the punny video game news. You can't lie. He put he put in the work. Will it hold? Come on.
No, these were just the, these were regular. I think these are just regular explosive rounds. But who knows? Well, now I'm out of them. So I hope that doesn't happen again. Which Resident Evil monster is the most huggable? This is a good question. I mean, the snake? Maybe? The, uh, maybe the shark? From Resident Evil 1? Both of them in Resident Evil 1. Already full. My inventory is already full. How did that happen? How does this happen? How does this keep happening? So what if you're susceptible to heat? That's some good old Resident Evil writing, folks. And that is what I'm looking for. Unfortunately, um... Oh, wait, I could trash. Yes. I think I can. That, if it. It wouldn't say I could trash it if I needed it again, right? That's what I thought. Thank you, Joe Botnick. I was about to... Uh, my uh, high anxiety uh, my for meaningless things was such that I... <sighs> but, what if, what, but what if I wanted to play New Game Plus? Um, explosive A, yes. Yes! Uh, we are going to just have a, a little bit of extra time to, to do It's the Arts on Monday the 13th. How did I manage to do that? So, how did I manage to biff that? Wait, is it? The, will it be? No, it's stream 13 is going to be on the 11th. I wish it we could do the 13th, but um, the Luke man has his own set schedule, and we are not. Although, I will say it is not wholly unexpected that stream 13 would be the one that runs into the most logistical or scheduling issues. Oh, far out. Water looks insane. Sea of Thieves is a game that I do not own yet, uh, but every few weeks I think to myself, maybe I should own Sea of Thieves. Is this the correct thing? Is this the correct way to feel? Is Sea of Thieves something that Alan and I would enjoy playing together? Three stars.
I know a lot of people swear by it. And I will say that I played the heck out of um, Assassin's Creed 4 because I enjoyed the sailing so much. We'll, we'll slot it into consideration. Oh, no, store. Uh, store. I don't think it's the classic safe room. You know, I'm just thinking about it, how it was nice that Nicole raided us. That was a very nice thing to do. Wholly unexpected. Just a, just a, just a kindness. Now, if we could get David Hayter to raid us. Oof. Um, I wanted to say, uh, I, one of the other games that I really want to try playing on the stream is, uh, and I know that I'm going to get some groans in the chat about this, but it's uh, Resident, or sorry, not Resident Evil, uh, Metal Gear Survive. Jobotnik, what did I say to you? What did I say? Nope, there's two Resident Evil Revelations games. And they are both... Uh, gay. Who's groaning? Why is, there, why is everyone groaning? Oh, God. No! Oh, you don't even need to get them in the mandibles. All right, all right. I have seen a couple of game reviews, a sort of re a sort of revisit reviews of Metal Gear Survive. Son of a monkey! Ow! I know why people don't like Metal Gear Survive, but I watched a playthrough uh, again, like a someone like doing a revisited video of Metal Gear Survive, and I thought this looks so ridiculous that I might actually enjoy myself in the same way that I enjoyed like Spawn in the Demon's Hand on the Dreamcast. A bad game by any uh, anyone's. Uh, by any measurement, but still a terrifically fun game to play. Gonna need multiple batteries. Low Vibe 75, it was, I think, it was definitely supposed to be a live service kind of game at some point, but they just made some sort of weird offline... I mean, I'm not sure why your time was rough when you played Res Metal Gear Solid uh, 3, but uh, it is a game about letting go. Letting go and moving on and uh, starting a private army.
stuff here. Oh boy, handgun ammo. I haven't seen that in a while. Start a private arm. Letting go and starving a private. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, wait, no. Different room. Oh, oh. Wouldn't it be so nice to have that? Oh, where is the. Okay, I can understand why people have been down on the Resident Evil 3 remake a little bit. There's some weird... This should at least be a prompt that's just like, oh, that's too hard. There's a couple of doors that are I've run into in this game that are like that. Um, I would love to see somebody... I mean, I guess it would have to be Konami. Uh, do a Metal Gear Solid 4 remake that has some... I think this is... don't mean to keep saying quality of life improvements, but quality of life improvements. I mean, it's got heart. I'm not... I think it's got heart. I mean, those weird all uh, translucent alligator babies... That's that's a showcase there. That's a showcase piece. Someone put some someone put some love into that. The weird little uh, spider tentacle uh, fetus things. Those, on the other hand, no me gusta. And not only because they were being very mean to me, but because uh, they. Just didn't like the way they looked. I take you? Do I get to take you? Great. Oh, one of these. That's, that's, uh, and this is now a Resident Evil puzzle. I want Bloodborne on PC. I want to play Bloodborne again, um, without loading times. I think that would be, uh, very special. Bloodborne, Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, what else would I like to have? What other quality of... What other games of... Oh, wow. There's a book that's just called They Killed Him. This book's just called 2020. Do you think they knew? Yeah. Thank you um, for good night and uh, good luck. Hopefully I will be um, able to be continuing to get better at streaming um, and streaming game and talking, but I'm al already uh, reaching the point where um, at least this current headset is starting to do the thing to my head that it does where it is not feeling very good. And so I might, once I maybe get past this cool battery puzzle, then I might uh, start to wind things down for the evening and remind everybody that... Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. I mean, this is... Yeah. I guess I wore this I for him. just an hour when we were doing the corn TGI. We'll 
Yeah, that certainly. Because uh, I don't remember feeling this bad. Great. Glad to see you. Somehow not an instant kill. Thanks, Marco. I hope to get. E I hope to get better. So let's. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and try to escape this creature. And whatever, man. I don't even know. Wow. Not wasting valuable time at all. You can use weapons. Great. Okay, everybody. Um, I'm gonna. This is this is a good I think a good place to wrap it up because my head is starting to hurt. Um, I really enjoyed uh, playing this game uh, while everybody watched. I feel like I did a good job. Um, I did. A, I'm doing a better job uh, every time I do the game streaming, and I am getting a new headset. It's coming on Wednesday. I really uh, would love to play this for a little bit longer, but again. I must uh, listen to the horrible feeling that I had. Uh, I also am well, trying to figure out how to do some, some pop-up graphics for these game streams so it feels a little bit nicer to your uh, eyes so you're not just looking at me in the games, but, and, you know, there's add some dynamism to it. But, yeah, let's raid piss. Uh, and I will also... I did drink more water. Thank you guys so much for coming by, and uh, we'll hopefully be doing this uh, again, like I said, uh, regularly throughout the week, and we can um, enjoy the community and the, I don't remember what the word is. Good night, everybody.